for Jefferson, all people could claim natural rights. His statement, all men are created equal in the Declaration of Independence, is heartfelt. And for him, it defines the world that is coming into being. But natural rights are not rights that you can enjoy in nature, in a natural condition. The threshold for the enjoyment of natural rights, for enjoying liberty, is to have a self-governing community, a republic, a commonwealth, in which natural rights can be made civil rights. A world in which, through the active participation of people in their own governance, they can begin to enjoy those rights that are theirs by nature. So the practical reality, the challenge for American Republicans is to do something new that hasn't been done before in modern history, and that is to demonstrate that a particular people in a particular place are capable of doing this, of taking control of their own destiny, of making their own history, of not simply submitting to the power of others or to the will of an arbitrary God. This notion of the potency and the self-sufficiency of a people is crucial to Jefferson's idea of Republican self-government. But the crucial word here is people. Who are these people? What makes them a community? What gives them the bonds of trust and common interest that will enable them to enjoy liberty, that will enable them to create a republic in which freedom will reign?